I believe some people are manipulators. And I believe some of them want to control you by shame and guilt. Guilt makes someone feel guilty, especially in order to induce them to do something. Amazing. Shame, a painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior. Let me give you an example. Let's say someone gave me $10 on Tuesday. And let's say on Wednesday, that same person like, hey, Kevin, um, can you help me to move all of my clothes to this other place? And let's say I say um, no, which that isn't wrong to say. That person may say to me, well, on Tuesday, I gave you $10. And since I gave you money, you should do this thing that may take us two, three hours to do. And let's say I say no again. That person may begin calling me selfish and unappreciative. That person may begin saying how great of a friend they are to me. That person may begin saying so much stuff in order to, I guess, shame or guilt me to do what that person wants me to do. That is manipulation. Let me give you another example. Let's say I babysit for someone. And let's say I volunteered to do so. Let's say I have been doing it for two years. Whoever I have been babysitting for, let's say I ask for too much, like somewhat asking for the impossible. And let's say that person tells me, uh, no, I can't do that. Then I began saying, what do you mean you can't do that? You have to do it because I have always been there for you. How can you be so selfish to tell me no? Stuff like that. Let me give you another example. Let's say I did something for someone two, three years ago. And let's say there is a person that constantly do things for me. Let's say I ask that person, hey, can you, um, can you wash all of my cars? Let's say I have like 20 cars or something like that. Can you wash all of my cars today? And let's say that person told me no. Then I bring up what I did for that person two or three years ago and tell that person how hard it was to do and how that person doesn't appreciate me, even though that person constantly do things for me, insanity, man. Then I am arguing and fussing whether it makes sense or not. Pretty much trying to force that person to do what I want them to do. To do what I want that person to do. That is manipulation. If you see that someone is trying to shame you, guilt you into doing something you really don't want to do, and let's say the reasoning behind it is wrong. You probably should not do it. If there was if there was no prior deal, like hey, if I do this for you, 
you have to do that for me. If there was no prior deal, then you should not feel obligated. I find some manipulators are toxic people. And I believe some toxic people are very wise, but wise in the wrong way. If you are an empathetic person, a person who is caring, a person who is loving, some demonic people may use it and twist it to try to have control over you. Imagine that, man. So be very careful of someone who constantly trying to shame and guilt you into doing what they want you to do. Something happened to me a while back. I forget when. A person gave me an ultimatum. If you don't do this, then blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay. So I chose the option to not do it. So that means I had to do something else. So while I was doing something else, that person came to me and tried, no, not tried, but shamed me and stuff like that to do what that person wanted me to do. Even though it was that person that gave me the ultimatum. Think about it. How can you give a person an ultimatum and the person chooses the other option, then once you see that person choose the other option, you try to get the person to choose the other option. Manipulative. That is, I believe, controlling in the wrong way. Some people are toxic. I am telling you, some people are devilish. Some people may act like they are caring and empathetic or whatever. They may behave in that way just to wait for the opportunity to strike. Be careful of people who are trying to shame and guilt you. I believe that is a sign someone is trying to control you in the wrong way. Especially when someone is telling you what they think you did wrong, but not really mention probably the many things that they are doing wrong. Manipulation. The manipulator may want to keep the focus on you and not on them, because if you place the focus on them, the manipulation may not even work. Toxic people, man. Very, very toxic. I believe some of them are. I was doing a kind deed for a person. And I was getting some help also, but I was doing a very, very kind deed for a person. In the beginning, I believe that person was very appreciative. With some people... I think if you go out your way and help them so much, some people may begin to think that it is their right to get you to continue to do that and more. So I believe some people begin to not really appreciate it much. Maybe they become used into getting your help. And I believe that was the case with that individual. Anyways, uh, some small things were happening. And, um, and I really didn't say too much in the beginning. Then after a while, 
I believe that person started to express themselves a bit too much. If you are being helped by someone, what can you really say? Now, if you are being mistreated, you should say something. But if it is too much, then you should go your way then, I believe. And I believe that person became a bit too expressive. But I was still trying to hold on to things. Then at the end, the disrespect became too much. And um, I did not hear from that person for maybe a year or more, maybe a year around there. Guess what? Maybe a time ago, that person had the nerve to call me and ask me for help. Insanity, man. When I found out who that person was, I hung up. Do you know that person must have called me like three or more times? How can you wrong someone? Not on an average level, I would say. How can you wrong someone, which I am not saying everything. How can you wrong someone in that way and expect that person to help you still? That is, see, I believe that is toxic. I believe that person, I may be wrong about this, may have, well, I was going to say maybe that person tried using manipulation, but probably not. But um, I believe that person is toxic. And I truly don't plan on helping that person no more. What if I choose to help that person again? What will stop that person from doing the same thing again? I believe with some toxic people, what they may like doing is to push your boundaries. If someone doesn't respect your boundaries, depending on who they are, I guess, you may have to leave them alone. You may have to find another option. There are some toxic people you may need to help. I believe as a Christian, in one way or another, you may encounter some toxic people. But I would say we have to be very, very careful of them. I hope all of this makes sense. May God bless us.